kids still play street cricket here. This is home, Gawler, one and a half hours north of Adelaide. And this is Johnny Genetto, or Johnny Alphabet, that's what I call him. He's got a long surname. Anyway, Johnny's the one who called me Boof, as in Boofhead. As kids, we played Aussie rules and cricket. Mum, a single parent, she'd drive me everywhere, scoring and doing whatever was needed. Then we'd climb back into our Falcon 500 and drive some more. Mum died 10 years ago of breast cancer, the same time Jane McGrath fought the wicked disease. I left school at 17 to work on the assembly line at Holden in Elizabeth. Mightn't sound flash, but I loved it. I loved the way it made me become an adult. The way they give you stick when you scored a duck, but say nothing when you got a ton. At 17, I played one game for South Australia and wasn't picked again until the following year, 89-90. I was just a kid working out how to get runs. You have to learn the game and the idiosyncrasies, the successes and the failures. I went to play for Carlton in Victoria and had to grow up all on my own. Different things hamper you along the way. It's all a part of learning, part of life. I'm big on life. Family's more important than a game of cricket. We have to make sure these Australian players are confident enough to bring out the best in themselves so they can look after their families for the rest of their lives. Say you live to 80, cricket's just 10 years of that. The trick is making it count. Ponting, Gilchrist and Warren, they were the best players of my time. Ponting, because he was a cricket nuffy, determined to improve each and every day. Gilchrist, a gentleman with this hidden drive, a great mate and a gun. Warren, just pure genius. With Warney coming over or around the wicket, Australia couldn't lose. People ask if you can turn a bad cricketer into a great cricketer. Yes, you can. The trick is to give them the confidence. Look at David Warner. In terms of skill, he has a little bit to do. In terms of technique, a lot. But the output is already there. He's on his way. We have to be in the business of entertaining people. We want kids and grown-ups coming through the gates and being entertained. We're the custodians of the game. We make sure all players are accessible, that the public knows them, and wants them to succeed. As a coach, I'm going to be hard but fair, brutally honest with the players and staff, but caring at the same time. And I do care about them. Mates are mates. Not a day goes by I don't think about Hooksy. He was a great mentor. Taught me how to act, how to enjoy the game for what it is. Hard and uncompromising. Never afraid to say what he thought. Being there just two metres away, it didn't help. I remember going to Sri Lanka and getting a hundred in Gaul. Looking up at the sky, he was there with me that day. I can't remember how I got those runs, but I can still see him there with me. You move on, but you don't forget. This will be a really close series against England, like it was in England. They're a good side, well drilled, we know we'll have to play our best, but we have to make it very hard for them to get us out. We have to bat and bat. And learn a bit more about life along the way.